Hi everybody, welcome to Cake Tastic Cakes. It's Jen and I'm gonna show you how to make this dinosaur volcano scene on my dino cake. All right, we're going to start out like we always do by saying if you need any tools or supplies, check the links in the description below. And then we're moving right into it. Okay, we've got our cake, we've got our ganache drizzle in another video, you can check that out and find out how to make that if you want to. And I am taking my cake and I am taking chocolate cake, crumbling it up, put it on top like you saw there. I'm going to make the leaves now. I took some gum paste. I'm using gum paste because it dries and hardens, makes a nice firm shape that you can decorate easily with. And I rolled it out pretty thin, not crazy thin, but pretty thin. And using my leaf shaped cutters, I'm creating just a bunch of leaves. I'm using my knife blade to make a big vein down the center and then chop, chop, chop the sides to make a bunch of little veins for the leaves and yeah that's all I'm doing. If you don't have any leaf molds it's really no big deal. You can just make circle cutters you know use your circles pull them out oblong point off the one end and then use your knife and make your veins chop 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 the sides and there you go leaves. It's no big deal it's nice and easy. I did a bunch of different colors and I'm just gonna put them all aside and let them harden up so they'll be ready to go when I need them. All right, now I'm gonna move on to the volcano here. I've got my white gum paste. I rolled it out pretty thick. I was using my wooden stirring things that you saw there to make the thickness nice and even. And I cut a flat edge on the bottom and you see me cutting from the center sort of a wavy line on down toward the sides. It's not symmetrical, it's close, but it's not perfectly symmetrical. I left the top a little flat as you see. And that's gonna become my volcano. So I'm using my veining tool now and I'm making wavy lines coming down from the center of it, kind of following the horizon line, if you guys remember that from art class in school. Just making some wavy lines, giving my volcano a little more, a little more details that hopefully will show up when I color it with the food coloring, but if not, I know it's there, so yeah, that's what I'm going with. All right, I took some brown food coloring. It is a gel-based food color, so I mixed some water with it and I'm using a big old paintbrush and I am just slopping it on there. I'm just making it nice and messy. I'm trying though when I do paint it on there to start from the top and go all the way down because you'll see me do short strokes here and there and it shows it makes kind of like, I don't know, blotches sort of in the middle of wherever I put the paintbrush down and go from. So since I'm trying to keep it all nice and even, I start at the top and try to go all the way down the bottom. See how it got all blotchy there because I got lazy and just, uh, yeah, messed it up. So just go over the top of it and just keep working it down. If you see that it's too thick, like what I'm doing right there is I got a little bit more water on the brush and I'm starting from the top and pulling down and that's making it a lighter color at the top and leaving it darker at the bottom. So now it's kind of shaded and those wavy lines that I made earlier got kind of filled in. And then I went over it even more with some more brown. So that's why it looks a little darker here. I just didn't show it because it was more of the same. All right, I took some yellow gum paste here. I'm using that ball tool, just kind of shoving up here and there and just pressing it with my fingers. I didn't actually roll it out or anything. I just smooshed and pressed. And I'm wrapping it around the top of my volcano like a little yellow cap. See that, isn't that nice? And now I am going over top of it with my red food coloring and a little bit of water. And I went with the yellow because I figured if any of it showed through, it would just, you know, add some more color to my lava. Red and yellow, orange, all the fiery colors. So once you get it all done, there you go. Nice and bright and shiny and looking good. Now I did want it to harden and I wanted it to harden on a curve. So I ended up bracing it with some towels so that when it did dry, it would hold a curve and it would follow the shape of the cake so I could have it all the way on the back and it would just look freaking awesome like that. So it's set up overnight, it's actually hard now. I'm taking lollipop sticks, putting gum paste on it, getting it wet with some water, and then very carefully pressing it against the back of my volcano. I have told you guys before, I'm gonna say it again. When you press your lollipop sticks onto something that is hard and a little bit thin, you've got to be careful because if you press too hard, you will crack it. And I have done that. If you've seen my Mickey, Mickey Mouse video with the gears, you will know I cracked it. You can see here, I put a red thumbprint there. So I'm just taking a little water, wipe it off. It comes off real easy. All right, once the lollipop sticks are nice and dried to your volcano, carefully press it on. And there you can really see how I said that it was curved to fit the shape of the cake. There you go. I know, I'm so clever with my foresight, right? 
Okay, my leaves that I have allowed to dry are nice and hard, and I am sticking them in the cake now. I'm just shoving them into the ganache, kind of leaning them up against the volcano, and all I did was stagger them with colors and sizes, just so that it looked, you know, kind of varied. It wasn't just a solid layer of one shape or color. Now, my clients wanted to have plastic dinosaurs because they wanted their child to be able to keep them, so I didn't make them out of any gum paste or anything. So I cheated a little bit here. I'm embarrassed, I know, but a few more leaves in the front and it is done. You've got yourself a very simple, easy volcano dinosaur landscape on your dinosaur cake. So please check out my other videos. I got a couple more for this dino cake if you want to put it all together yourselves. Please like and subscribe because that does help me out. And as always, thank you for watching Cake Tastic Cakes.